Hi everyone, it's Joe from Lucas and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's the day we're gonna talk about wine. Wine? Let's talk about whiskey. Oh my lord. I can't get rid of this guy. <laughs> he shows up everywhere. You're the Guys, only one that gets the special barrels. Copper Sky, man. This is Mike Root. He's the owner of Copper Sky. We are talking about wine today, but for about the last three weeks, I have Mike and I have spent a lot of time together. This is an amazing <laughs> maker and, a, and an amazing palate. Stick around. We're going to talk about wine. Ooh. We got a little bit of light whiskey left. Just a little Thank bit. you for signing those bottles. Absolutely. I appreciate it very much. We got another barrel coming. Ooh. I'm excited about that. Have you even told him how old it is. Does anybody know? 16 years. The only one. The only one, and that's super exciting. Yes. So all right, we started out with a little whiskey. <laughs> now we're going to jump right into wine, and I think this is really great about wine. I want to oh. Jim's here. We got to introduce Jim. A lot of you guys know Jim. Jim's been in our in the liquor industry and in the wine industry in Colorado for the past 16 years. He's now our new senior buyer in the store. You know, Dave is gonna. Dave never will come on video, but Dave is the guy that walks around here that you guys talk to, along with Kent and Basil, Larry, myself. Jim is joining us. Jim's a level two sommelier. Been around a business for 16 years. Has worked Probably in college. Too long. Too, <laughs> been buying wine for a really long time. Has an amazing palate. In fact, I talked to him today. I said, Jim, we're going to talk about some stuff on video. What's your favorite wine? And he looked at me, and like an hour later, <laughs> he says all of them. And I was like, well, thanks for the help. <laughs> Anyways, it's so great to have people like this. I'm so glad you're part of our family. It's pretty amazing. We're going to have a great, great run together. Glad to be here. Excellent. All right, let's talk about some wines. So I wanted to pick some wines out. We're going to go across varietals. And one of the things that I always want to show is you could buy at a family-owned store, whether it's my store or any other family-owned store, and you can get better pricing than Total or Costco or Safeway or any of those people that are out there. And you get fair pricing. You know, fair pricing across the board. So we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to talk about a little St. Francis Chardonnay. Let's get into these. Let's start to learn these. We've got some Dave Matthews on the floor. we got great wine here. All right, let's go right away with this St. Francis Chard. Are you familiar with this one from Sonoma? I am. Well, tell a little bit, Jim. Let's check Jim's knowledge right now. <laughs> St. Francis is a great producer of awesome wines. I'm sorry, Dave. I'll never use that word again. Phenomenal wines. <laughs> yeah, you don't like awesome. <laughs> but uh, nice, a little bit of toast on the finish. Uh, it does. Creamy. Uh, pears, pears, apples. apples. Excellent that you said that. Almost some lemon zest that sits there. Yes. Delicious bottle of wine. Tremendous value. I think all the St. Francis is a tremendous value. You know what's funny is I get some graham crackers. Yes. It's interesting how you get these unique flavors. I love that. Talking to people that really have passion for wine, it's really, a, these are good stuff, good things to take. So, and I'm going to start doing this more and more because I want to give you guys, and I want people to know out there, I know we did a lot of fighting in the Senate. We did a lot of stuff with what uh, stuff that's going on with Total and franchise and uh, national brands and stuff like that. But here's an example, St. Francis Chardonnay. This is a beautiful Chardonnay. We sell it for $9.99, 1,500 feet away, $12.49, okay? And I'm gonna keep on giving you these examples so you get the understanding that when someone says they're low priced, that doesn't mean they're true. Lucas is low priced, the entire store. All right, let's go to Italy. Love Italy. I love Italy. I love Pinot Grigio's too. These are soft wines. So. This one, I believe, is, is, is more fruity, but I don't remember. Through it real quick. Do you remember Banfi? Yes, Castello Banfi, a uh, classic producer out of Italy, Central Italy mostly. Uh, this has a little bit of lemon and lime and stone fruit. Uh, I get a little peach out of it. Uh, a nice acidity, a little bit of brininess. Uh, exceptional bottle of wine for the some honey too. Yes. Some honey. Wow, that's incredible. It's amazing how you describe it. I don't know if he's putting all those words into my mind. I have nothing to say now. <laughs> There's a first for everything. This folks. is, well, I didn't say not, I did say nothing. All right, wait. It is crisp though. You said that though. I did say crisp. <laughs> well, here, let's go pricing again. Great wine, great national brand. $18.49 at Total Wine and More. 1399 at Lucas. Again, it's everyday pricing. 
again, I'm going to continue to point these out because I want people to start to understand. We need to support Colorado business, and it's not about Lucas Liquors. It's about every independent liquor store. We always got to remember that. But let's do this. How do I say this name? Clomar. Looks like Close Maris to me. Close Maris. Close Maris. No, okay. Clomar. So what do we got about Close Maris? Central Coast Chardonnay. Uh, should have a little bit of apple. Uh, probably, I haven't had this one in a while, so I can't be specific, but. So you definitely got apple, pear, and like a hint of lemon. It's very crisp. It's a super crisp Chardonnay, it is to me. You know, and all our palates are different, and that's what's nice. Those people that drink wine that come in here and talk to me, and they like the wines that I drink. It's interesting, as we start to drink together, I probably should have poured you a glass, Jim, but being just here a week, I didn't want you having to research this early in your job. Okay, let's jump into this. Into this. this is $11.99, okay? And I think we're the only one that carries it. But it, it's a great Chardonnay, great value, just a great bottle. These are all really great bottles. Let's talk about Dreaming Tree. Who likes Dave Matthews? I do. All right, even Renee, you couldn't see her say that, but she loves them too. Dave, this is a Dave Matthews wine. Um, so do you, do you know this one? I do. All right, fire away. This is one of my I love, favorite. I'm learning too right here. I'm learning online. This is one of my favorite little uh, domestic rosés. Uh, it's out of the, uh, mostly out of the central coast of California. Uh, I get a little bit of watermelon, uh, strawberry, raspberry. Uh, Nectarine. Dry finish. A super dry finish. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, I one of my favorite domestic rosés. I tell you what, under 10 bucks, I'm, I wasn't thinking of that. I haven't had this in about two years. Drinking it right now, one of the things I find with domestic rosés over like a French rosé is they're not as dry. And this almost carries the same dryness level of a French wine. I feel a lot of domestic rosés have a little residual sugar. Kind of sweeten them up a little that's bit. That's a great, that's a great is, point. Uh, this is a dry rosé. All right, I'm going to have to bring one of those home to mama. All right, well, let's jump into, let's go from here to Italy. Who doesn't like to go to Italy? Love so, Italy. So what do we got here with this? Been there many times. Oh, so have I. Oh, it's just amazing. Santa Cristina, a Toscana. And this is a super Tuscan. At least it smells like it. This is a tremendous value. It's bright, it's fruity, but it's still got structure. It, amazing wine for the buck, for the money. It's like all these dark fruits like blueberries and black currants and what else? Even cherry. Definitely get a lot of cherry out of this one. That's a big note when you taste it. Yes. That's a giant note up front. But blueberry, uh, there's some blackberry in there, a little bit of boysenberry. That's a, uh, so I want to, $9.99, guess what this one is? $8.98. Sold across the street for ten ninety seven, and these are national brands, so you get to check this stuff. Remember, we have an app. Everybody has an app. Always learn, understand what you're being sold. These are great wines. Each one of these wines we're going through, they're solid wines. This Venstone Pinot Noir. For those of you that know what private label is or don't know what private label is, this is one of those that's carried uh, at the National Liquor Store chain, Total Wine and More. We carry it here too. I we sell it for $12.95, they sell it for $19.99. But again, keep all these in mind. This is a fantastic wine. This is one of those sleeper wines that I really truly enjoy that should be on your on your table as a Pinot Noir. I don't know if you've had this one, Jim. I have. It, this is a good wine. This has got like blackberry, cherry, vanilla, cocoa, for all the Mayomi lovers out there, this is a, a, a perfect example of Mayomi at a much lower price. Oh, that's just... Fuller, uh, it's got some of those darker fruit flavors. I think that's a, I think one of the things you just said up front was fuller. Now I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna let you taste next time we do a video together, so we're doing this. I was just checking his memory, it was kind of an interview today. Anyways, hey guys. These are great wines, great prices. We, we so appreciate it. Come in and say hello to Jim. Welcome aboard. He's a new member of our family. 
Um, Mike left, thank God. Anyways, um, everybody, you guys, make sure you have an amazing day. Remember, thanks for shopping at Lucas, one bottle at a time. We truly appreciate your business, and we will talk with you soon.